And up here I have, oh, sorry guys, this is mostly like my tripod and camera cords, um, digital camera I don't use anymore, some old um, brushes are in there, um, the foot pedal for my drill, a couple little dappin dishes, um, and my big glitters that don't fit anywhere. This is big black glitter shaker, um, the candy hearts, and the glitter wheel that I showed in my um, haul video. And here I have this big bulky thing that I hate that it's there. But um, these little nail displays that I got, I got the small ones. And um, these are some nail designs that I did. And these ones are just different mixes that I did. And I'm trying to get a live picture here for you guys to better see the um, uh, eggshells mixes that I just did. I think they're really pretty. And then this first drawer right here is all my colored acrylics. And these are different mixes that I've done. And I have a huge question <laughs> that I need answers. Um, how in the world do you guys get that little um, dab of acrylic off of the lid? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I guess you can probably just soak it, but if there's an easier way that you guys know of, let me know. Because I have a lot of these empty dishes that I'm, you know, really didn't like the mixes, so I'm probably not going to make that same one again. So I'd like to um, get those off of the cap so I can reuse it. But these are empty, ready for mixes. I'm obsessed with these little containers from Walmart. I love them. And then, um... A little sneak peek, this is a mix that I worked on last night for the um, March Glitter Swap. And um, the eyeshadow from Wet n Wild that I added with my eggshell mixes. The um, LA Color Lollipop pigment and the um, little gold glitter they sent me with my drill. And here is let's see buffers and brushes <clears throat> and these little ones I give out whenever I do nails they're really good to um, clean and scrub underneath get all that gunk out so I have a bunch of those that I hand out um, and here is most of my files um, I have some new ones still in the plastic and then some ones that I use for practice. Um, sorry guys, getting all shaky. This is all my um, NSI powders. There, I think I have um, two each of the Purely Pink Mask and Radiant White. I have a Radiant Pink and a Totally Clear. And these are OPI powders that um, my friend actually just gave me her old train case from um, cosmetology school and um, she didn't use it anymore so she knows I do nails and she gave them to me so thank you Miss Jessica for that I love you it's my wife and this is um, brush cleaner from a Broadway kit that my cousin gave me this is the first acrylic top coat that I got from Sally's I just used for practice now my first ASP dehydrator um, polish sealant beauty secrets primer Glaze and Go, a uh, little no, um, no Lips Primer, my NSI Line Out, and um, Attraction Primer, uh, Nurture Oil, this really cute cuticle oil my cousin gave me. It has this little um, flowers in it, dried flowers. I think that's really cute. Um, another cuticle oil, and some OPI Bond Aid, and... same thing I guess. So that's in there. And this is, um, I don't want to fall. A bunch of different stuff. Um, some extra glues, some brush on glue, 
and I got a big thing of cuticle oil um, from Sally's before I bought my um, started buying the nurture oil and I got a bunch of these little um, containers from eBay this is actually one I put label on um, in good hands was the name I came up with for my dream salon I guess I um, thought that was cute so I made a couple little labels and put them on there but um filled them up and I hand those out whenever I do nails because I don't, really don't use it myself um, these my little sister gave me they are deja vu cuticle oil and um, Avaplex cuticle remover some lotions um, no lifts liquid for um, practice and my attraction liquid for um, nails I do on myself and other people um, nail pure plus some more lotions cuticle remover um, what's this lotion some different um, antiseptic sprays um, my acetone some more <sighs> nail pure plus um, some hand sanitizer my brush cleaner and a little dish I use for the um, water marbling and then here is all my colored tips well, all my tips I guess I have white and clear um, pretty much every color that I could find online I got baby's playing hockey um, pretty much every color I could find online these are the ones I ordered from May the PS um, I showed all those in like my first videos um, these ones I got more recently they're hot pink um, from eBay and these purple and orange I think are the only other ones I didn't show and then all the other ones I showed in my um, first May the PS video okay here I have all my polishes and I don't have any you know really high quality expensive polishes these are all cheap polishes because I don't really use them very often except for um, toenails pretty much is all I ever use my polish for anymore um, let's see I have a lot of pure ice and LA colors, a um, couple Sally Hansons, and these funky finger fingers are my new favorite from um, Five Below, and they even have a crackle in their brand. And I was really disappointed whenever I first got this because um, they are about um, five or six dollars a piece, and um, I swatched them on the little color wheel things and it didn't crackle at all found out later on that you have to have a polish base coat for it to work so after I did that you know I fell in love with it all over again so they work really well actually so I think I only have four of those black and white um, blue and pink and then these glitters are my absolute favorite I think they are so pretty. There's another one. Super, super pretty. And um, dotting tools and just some regular paint. Oh, it's heavy. And this is all my um, striper polishes and my little um, swatches for most of my polish. Um, these I ordered on eBay. I think I got 24 for um, uh, I don't know, around ten dollars or something maybe. Um, I have one stripe right. And give me a second here. I'll show you. Okay, I'm so glad I didn't buy more of these because this is what happened to my brush. I used this one time, and that's what I got. So I will stick with the dollar. LA color stripers because this is just I was so upset but yeah that's my um, stripe right experience and then with these I guess 
Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it. They're the fine tip pens, and then they have the um, thin brush whenever you unscrew the cap. So that's there. Um, this is pretty much junk. It is um, extra baggies and things like that. These little separators and dividers I have for my storage um, boxes. And um, the little baggies that I just got my Swatha Chahara. And these are my earrings. I don't know why they're in there. But um, just little empty pots that I kept um, for swaps. Some of them need rinsed out. Some of them are new. So, figured they'd be nice to have if I wanted to put anything in those. A couple of these extra um, little boxes. A bunch of these little plastic containers. Um, these buffers that I got that I don't really use. I don't know why, but they're in here. Um, a couple extra little towels. And these new... Um, little storage pots that I got my swap with Chihara. Uh, 